Hello and welcome to another video of Jones Visual. As many of you know, Wakira has released a challenger that is supposed to take on the DJI's Mavic Pro that pretty much dominates the market, although there's some alternatives such as the GoPro Karma. Wakira's new challenger is called Vitus and it will be soon available. I place a link in the description of the video so you can keep an eye on it. My intention with this video is to share with you some footage that I have captured of the Vitus, as some of the videos online are of the older prototype and this one is the latest one. The Wakira Vitus seems rather compact when folded, measuring around 228 in length, 101 in width, and around 99 in height, but as you can see, it's certainly bigger than the DJI Mavic Pro and heavier, weighing close to 870 grams with the battery. The arms and the props are going to be foldable, and this will facilitate transportation, although I'm wondering whether uh, there is something to protect the gimbal, um, as if there isn't anything to protect the gimbal, you need to rather be careful uh, if you're planning on dropping it, for example, inside your backpack with a bunch of other stuff, as you could damage the camera or the gimbal. The drone itself is packed with sensors, including an optical flow sensor located under the drone, there are a couple of sensors visible also on both sides next to uh, the front arms and in the front section of the drone. To control the Vitus, Wakira has introduced a new transmitter, the Devo F8S. That, uh, just like the Vitus itself, it derives a lot from the transmitter of the DJI Mavic Pro. The transmitter will allow you to uh, connect your smartphone directly to it, and by using an app, you'll be able to access a variety of functions to control the Vitus, and also, you'll be able to see uh, the video feed sent by the drone, and keep an eye on critical uh, information such as the battery status, satellite count, uh, strength of the signal, and according to Wakira, you would also be able to set waypoints. Let's hope that works out well. <laughs> the Devo FS 8S transmitter receives the, sig the video signal and then it sends it to the smartphone. And my main concern with this is video lag. Uh, during the demo, I did notice that a few times the image froze for a while. Uh, for a few seconds, so let's hope this is not a major issue. According to Wakira, the transmission range should be around 1.5 kilometers. I think some people might feel that uh, this is a kind of rather short range. At least this is the feedback that I have been getting, so keep this in mind. When it comes to flying time, Wakira promises from 25 to 28 minutes using the stock 5211.4 volts battery. I would be happy if I can squeeze 20 minutes out of the videos. I mean, it's not uncommon that the flying time is way shorter than the what manufacturers indicate, as they seem to test these drones in some ideal conditions. But well, let's hope we can at least get 20 minutes. I think that would be already a good good thing. Something exciting about the Wakira Vitus is the front camera, or I mean the FPV camera. This is a high aperture 2.8, actually maximum aperture 4K camera capable of recording 4K at 30 FPS and Full HD up to 60 FPS. So you can get a little bit of that slow-mo if you're recording Full HD at 60 FPS. It also offers a nice ISO range from 100 to uh, 12,800, although at that su such a high ISO is probably not going to be a, a good quality. Uh, the sensor in the camera is a 12 megapixel Sony CMOS sensor and it will be able to record with a compression rate of 65 uh, megabits per second. Last, the lens has an FOE of 85 degrees. Personally, I have some expectations for the camera as it seems larger and more robust uh, than the camera of the DJI Mavic Pro, so there might be some chance for better video quality, but let's see. It's kind of early to say and I haven't seen uh, any footage recorded with that camera. Although the videos will be equipped with all sort of smart functions and flying modes, I think it does not have any auto tracking function, but uh, it's rather equipped with the so-called follow me mode. During the test indoors, the Vitus behave really nice and actually I noticed a few times that the operator dropped the transmitter several times while he was busy check checking something else, while the drone kept its position, potentially using its optical flow and lateral sensors. So there might be some hope for those of you interested in flying indoors or in places with poor satellite uh, coverage. When flying in GPS mode, the Vitus will be using uh, the GLONASS satellite uh, system and um, you will be able to see uh, satellite count, as I was saying before, in the app, 
in your smartphone. Using one of the dials in the very section of the transmitter, you will be able to control the gimbal to get uh, the right shot. And the current price of the Vitus is of around 799, which is certainly not cheap, but it is certainly 200 bucks cheaper than the DJI Mavic Pro. Despite the, despite the price difference, the price difference though, I think Wakir will certainly have a hard time competing with the Mavic Pro, which has already gained quite some reputation. Nonetheless, 200 bucks is certainly a lot of money uh, to some people. So provided the Vitus is free of bugs and it does all that Wakira says it can do, it can stand the chance. So let's hope it does a good job. If you would like to see more details or info, please just take a look at the link I placed in the description and uh, you will see the instructions manual and all sort of information about it. Uh, so you get uh, informed before purchasing. I believe it's not available yet, but it should be available in the next couple of weeks, uh, I think. So, okay, I will try to get hands on one later to review it, but this is what I have until now. If you have any questions or comments, do not hesitate and drop me a line in the comment section and I will definitely get back to you. If you're interested in the topic of drones and would like to receive the latest news and reviews directly from China, please subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you all in my next video.